Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty on NCAA Football 06. Today, the Bobcats are traveling to play the Idaho State Bengals, who come into this game with a 3-2 and record. Montana State looking to stay undefeated in Big Sky Conference play. They're quarterbacked by Will Coleman, 1,100 yards, 16 touchdowns, two, three interceptions. He's dealt with a little bit of injuries, it looks like, or at least maybe they just threw in the backup or something. Backup doesn't look like he's been playing great, but luckily for them, they shouldn't have to worry about him coming in and playing today. Vincent is their leading receiver, just over 400 yards and four receiving touchdowns for him. Their offensive line, not great on paper, at least 14 sacks given up by those two top guys right there. This defense has done a good job getting into the backfield, especially in the tackle for loss category. They also have a good handful of interceptions. Kevin Thomas, he's been slacking with his grades, and that's going to get him a two-game suspension. Not a good look there, especially as he's one of our top defensive ends. I mean, he's a great player on that defensive line, but we've got to, you know, get his grades up in school. So he's going to be out for the next two games. Down to the field now. Montana State's going to be starting off with the football to run for Ryan Carter. He's going to be limited to just two yards. Now off the play fake, McPherson, the five-star freshman, launching that one downfield. Intercepted by Cedric Towns with the diving pick right there. And an inaccurate pass from McPherson is going to be picked off. Toss play to the right for Morris, and he's going to get taken down for a two-yard loss there. Coleman driving back to throw for the first time today. He's got Wallace over the middle running that curl route. And now Wallace slow to get up, grabbing at his shoulder as we get to third down and two. Coleman's going to try to take it himself, and he's going to be denied. Chad Barnes with the tackle for loss right there, and that's going to force a Bengals three and out. We get an update on Adrian Wallace. It's nothing too serious, and he will return to this afternoon's game shortly. Aaron, this one out to the left side is McPherson. Caught Marcus Lumpkin, the impact wide receiver across the 30-yard line. Great job by McPherson dropping dots, testing that one-on-one -on -one coverage. Now a halfback pass, threading the needle there to Marcus Lumpkin. A dangerous pass there by the running back, and uh, luckily he does complete it for a first down. But on second down, McPherson gets taken down in the backfield. That's going to make this third down and long at the 20-yard line. McPherson looking for the touchdown. Going for it. All incomplete pass. Two defenders on that left side. If he just goes to Will Black over the middle, he would have had himself an easy touchdown. Instead, we're going to have to settle for the field goal. A direct snap here to the running back, Morris, who cuts it inside for some reason, despite all the room he had to the left side, ultimately does bounce it to the outside for a gain of eight. Now this throw on the move is going to be into some traffic and incomplete. Third down and short. Here's a play fake. Coleman's going to be sacked on third down. And there's an injured offensive lineman on the play all around. Just a bad play there for Idaho State. They do get an update on him now, and he's going to be out for the remainder of the game, so their offense taking a little bit of a hit there. Here's Nathan Cron, and weaving his way through some traffic, pulls out a couple juke moves down the right sideline, gets taken down inside of the red zone. Big time run there for the backup running back. McPherson looking to throw, and he's going to run out of time. Sacked again, this time for a loss of 10. Second down and long after the big play by the defense. Going for it all. Touchdown, Turner. Testing that one-on-one -on -one coverage. It's not the first time that McPherson has done that today. It's not the first time either that it's worked for him. That's at least two times now on that left side. First it was Lumpkin. Now it's Turner dropping dimes into the end zone. The safety unable to get there in time. Montana State's up by 10. Coleman looking to run the football now. The quarterback scrambling for the first down yardage there. Getting pretty much all the rushing yards that they've had so far today. It gets him up to 10. Coleman wants to run the football again. And he's going to have more first down yardage. This MSU defense has got to put some kind of a spy out there. If he's just going to be running it like that. Pass over the middle is maybe a little bit behind his receiver Golden. But that looked like it was pretty good on him there. Now Morris is going to go right up the middle, and that's going to set up a third down and short. Play fake to Morris, and now Coleman runs out of time very quickly, rolling right into a sack. Chad Barnes with, I think that's his second sack of the game, and that's going to knock Will Coleman out for at least a few plays. Carter on the run to the right side now, and he's going to pick up a gain of nine. We get an update on Coleman, just a pinched nerve, and he will return to the game shortly, but we might see a little bit of backup action in here today.
That pass is going to be tipped as McPherson is leading that ball behind Kerner. If he leads it ahead of him, that's going to be a first down. And maybe if he throws to the other open receiver on that left side there, he has a first down. Instead, we're going to have to punt back out here on defense, though. And we're getting sacks again. Chad Barnes with his third of the half. Greco looking to throw the backup quarterback connects with Wallace. Adrian Wallace back from his injury and that's going to get them into Montana State territory with a minute 48 left to go in the second quarter of play. Morris taking this one on the carry up the middle limited to just three yards. Play fake now and down goes Coleman right back into the game just to be sacked once again by Chad Barnes. He's having a huge game today. Now looking for the end zone, and that's going to be a touchdown for McMillan. A dime from 36 yards out. Will Coleman back in the game. He got sacked on his first play back, but then second play back, he finally gets the Bengals into the end zone. But, but, but Brett McPherson is not done with his first half of play. Turner on that left side, down inside of the five. I was going to say maybe trying to put together a two-minute drill, but may might only take a couple plays for us to get into the end zone. Carter on first down and gold. He's going to pick up a few yards down at the two-yard line as this clock continues to tick. Give it to Carter again, and they're going to say he lost a yard on that one. Third and goal, a third straight play for Carter, diving for the end zone, unable to break the plane, though. So Montana State will just run the clock down to two seconds, kick a field goal. That's going to give us the six-point lead at halftime. The Bengals get the football to start off the second half of play. Coleman looking to run the football again. He's been trying to run a lot today, but Pollard has had enough of that. He brings him down in the backfield. Now on the right side, he has a man wide open right off of his man's hands, and that came on third down and long as well. That is one that your receiver has to bring in, but you know what? We'll take it. Now McPherson trying that left side again, and they have had enough of us testing a lot of the one-on-one -on -one coverages, especially on that left side there. Safety makes it there to break that pass up. Cronin takes this one on the carry for a gain of three. That leads to third down and seven. Pressure up the middle for McPherson, and he gets it out. Will Black into ISU territory. Big play there for Montana State. Now off the play fake, Mearson under, under just immediate pressure here, rolling to his left, throwing across his body, threading the needle to Marcus Lumpkin. And uh, that's not a throw that I can adv advise a quarterback to make, but I mean, it was a crazy throw. Maybe don't do that again, though, because that is serious danger of being uh, something like a pick six. Third down and one. Carter going right up the middle, picking up the first down, weaving his way through some traffic. It's going to be goal to go again for Montana State. McPherson looking to throw over the middle, and he had Turner wide open on the slant right there, and he just missed him. Looking to throw again over the middle, intercepted. Tolbert had the pass thrown directly to him. All he had to do was reach his arms out and get it. Good look there for Ross Lewis, but he threw that like a whole second too late. Carlson on the reception here for Idaho State, and that's going to pick up a gain of eight. This clock continues to run as we near the end of the third quarter. Coleman's going to get brought down in the backfield again, not by Barnes this time, but I mean, we keep getting to him. Now pass over the middle is going to be caught by Golden. Whoa, I thought we might have had an interception or at least a pass break up there with Williams, but instead it's a big play there for the Bengals. Now pass is going to be caught by Morris, breaking a tackle, and he's going to break the plane. Touchdown, Idaho State Bengals. Time they game up at 13 apiece, and after the extra point, they're going to have the lead. McPherson's throw to the left side is going to be caught by Lumpkin despite some pretty tight coverage on him there. That's his fourth catch of the game. Gets him up to 86 yards so far. Carter on the run right up the gut. And that's going to pick up about five yards here. Just keep continually running the football and hoping we can break off a big one. McPherson landing up on flat to the right side. Touchdown, Will Black. Wow, McPherson. I mean, he's been inconsistent in the two starts he's had so far this season. And, you know, he's had some bad interceptions. He had that interception to the end zone earlier. But right there is one of those just wow moments as he launched that one over 50 yards to the end zone. And then that's one of those moments that I'm not so proud of. I mean, it was a good two-point conversion that we got. That pass was intended for Ross Lewis, the receiver on the left side there. He's very lucky the DB didn't try to go up and get an interception because that very well could have been a pick going the other way for two points for Idaho State. And uh, instead, we lucked out and were up by seven. 
Second down and six. Coleman's looking to throw. He's got McMillan on the right side. And he's going to get brought down immediately. That is five consecutive completions for the quarterback, though. Looking to make it six, and he does. Cooper with just enough to move the chains on third down. Just about three minutes left to go in this afternoon's game. This pass into some coverage caught by Golden. Eddie Fine thought he might have had the chance to make a play there, but even with the quarterback getting hit as he let that pass go, it was still an accurate pass. Coleman now on the reception as they go for a little bit of trickery. He ends up losing a few yards. Now on third down and four, taking a very conservative approach here and running the football. Fourth down and five, that's going to bring us down to two minutes left to play in the game. And apparently they really trust their defense because they're punting it on fourth down. They're down by seven and there's only two minutes left to go in the game. And now Marcus Lumpkin, big time punt return for him that he brought that from about, I think, his 15 yard line all the way out to the 44. Nathan Cronin right up the middle. He's got himself first down yardage, and the Bengals are going to burn their first time out. First down and 10 with a minute 43 left to go. Ryan Carter with the carry up the middle. He's going to pick up a gain of four, and they're going to use their second time out. Give it to Carter again, and wrestled down right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and five. The clock continues to tick. Handoff goes to Carter on the right side, spinning just for fun, picking up the first down and putting this game on ice. They would use their final timeout, but it would not matter. Montana State would run out the rest of this clock and end up victorious 21-14. to This is a game, I mean, I'm not going to complain about winning, but I also feel like we should have won by a little bit more. Those two interceptions, Brian McPherson, not great. He's got to start, you know, cleaning up his act. But, I mean, I love that throw he had for his second touchdown. Just showing off that big arm he's got. And then great route running on that play by Will Black. Just showing how he can break away from the defense. Cronin led us in rushing despite having a third of the carries that Ryan Carter had. He's definitely got the speed, but I've always liked what Carter's been able to do. I mean, he's an impact player for a reason, but is he even the best running back on the team? I don't know. And Chad Barnes, he had himself a breakout game today. Four sacks. He also had six tackles for loss. I think those four sacks get counted there. Crazy game for him. The Grizzlies are 4-1 on the season now as they defeat Weber State. Eastern Washington gets a three-point win over the Sacramento State Hornets. And Idaho falls for the fifth time this year to Navy 21-13. That's going to be a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like is always appreciated. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.